We're here today for the really exciting event, uh, Community of Compassion, which is bringing together lots of different groups that um, are really in invested in supporting refugees uh, because it's Refugee Week. Um, so it's a really exciting chance to kind of share conversations, to think about art and creativity, um, and in particular to try and put a human face, I suppose, on an issue that often gets dehumanised. Yeah, I think music is always like a, a kind of really good method of conveying emotion, even across like language barriers and different cultures. There's always going to be music somewhere and it, it just feels like a really good way to link people and take away like issues that can be political and, and just like driving them back down into an, an emotional level, which everyone can kind of feel. And the song that we just played actually um, on the on the original track has a collaborator, Ali Esmahil Zada. And when we reached out to him, we, we were amazed that he was up for kind of playing the violin with it. And we sort of said to him, um, is it a traditional Afghan style that you're going to kind of drop in on the track to make it all hybrid? And he was like, no, I'll, I'll just follow your style and I'll drop my violin, my instrument in, into your voice. And that's something I think music can do. It can just kind of put voices together and you end up with these really intriguing sort of harmonies. Yeah, I, I think when you're talking about refugees and, and modern slavery a lot, like when you see it on the news, for instance, a lot of the time it's very easy to, to kind of break it down into statistics or and kind of you lose the humanity of a situation that is fundamentally all about the humanity and it's about the suffering of people and trying to find a way to relate them to yourself because that's the problem that a lot of people have. They can't find that connection to themselves. They distance themselves. And so, weirdly yeah. with the Ukraine conflict in particular, I think Europeans, because it's the first war in, in Europe, because they inhabit buildings that kind of look like buildings in Western Europe as well, people, people were able to empathise in a slightly different way. Um, but what we need to do is kind of jump off that sense of empathy and, and try and apply it to all sorts of other groups who, as you say, are vulnerable in, in different ways, in different circumstances. But there's, that's no reason why that sense of kind of human connection ought to kick in. And sometimes it's really hard to encourage people to get, to get it to kick in because at the moment everyone's under pressure, cost of living crisis, like fences are going up in, in people's personal lives and in communities. And it's, it's really important that people who have the will and the emotional kind of capacity push back against that because that, you know, the song's called See Your Face Again and in some ways it's about seeing the face of compassion again and re trying to reintroduce it to the spaces around us.